Hi guys and welcome back to a new video and uh, if you remember last week I did my Premier League predictions for the up and coming match week um, <clears throat> I'm going to make this a, a weekly thing well every single time there's a new Premier League uh, round like of matches I'm going to be doing my predictions thinking for every single game who will win so diving straight into this one the first one which is on at half 12 on Saturday it's a big top of the table clash Manchester City hosting West Ham United um, of course, I got the West Ham prediction right from last week. I predicted them to beat Spurs 2-1. They did do that Lingard scoring. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I think Manchester City, they're just too good. They beat Munchu Gladbach uh, last night 2-0. I think they'll do the same here to West Ham. I think they'll win 2-0. I'm going to predict Phil Foden to get one goal and maybe Mares or Gundogan to get <clears throat> a goal too. And then moving on to uh, the 3 o'clock match-off. West Brom versus Brighton. Of course, last week, now West Brom, you got to applaud them. They drew 0-0 with Burnley with 10 men for like 60 minutes of the game, which is really good from them. I thought Burnley would have won it right in the end. Um, I forget who Brighton played last week, but um, <clears throat> I think Brighton will win this one anyway. I think they'll win 1-0 here. I'm going to break Neil Mopé scoring a goal in the first half to be the only goal of the game in the Hawthorns here in this game. So West Brom nil. Brighton won is my verdict. And now Leeds United versus Aston Villa. Two teams are doing quite good. Um, on Tuesday, I, uh, Leeds United uh, beat Southampton 3-0. Villa, um, I forget who they played again last week. But Le Leeds have been on great form recently. Um, <clears throat> Rafinha's and Harrison are up to their best. Same with Bamford. I think this will be a very tight game. Both these teams are doing amazing. I'm going to say it'll be a 2-2 draw between the Claret and Blue of Birmingham and the White of Leeds. Uh, I'm going to predict Bamford to score, Villa to go 2-1 up and then Leeds to snatch a point right at the end of the match. And now moving on to Newcastle versus Wolves. Wolves won 1-0 against Leeds. It was another prediction that I got right last week on Friday. And Newcastle on the other hand, they lost 3-1 to United. Another prediction I got right. Um. <clears throat> But um, I think it'll be another 3-1 defeat here at St. James's Park for Newcastle. Uh, Wolves, I think they're just in um, too good form. Pedro Neto, I'm going to be a goal scorer again. And I also think Neves will score maybe one of their full backs. So yeah, my prediction here is Newcastle 1, Wolves 3. And now, Leicester City versus Arsenal. Both these teams playing the Europa League tonight. Um, <clears throat> Leicester 0-0 currently. Arsenal 1-1. Uh, uh, it's at the King Power Stadium, pretty sure last time these two played, it was at the Emirates, it was a 1-0 win for Leicester from that um, wrong. But uh, what do I think will happen here? I think Leicester City and Arsenal will draw here 1-1. One, one. They'll both sort of be quite tired from the Europa League, so uh, this one suits fine for this week. Um, I think both of them will be as knackered as each other, and they'll both scrape a point. So Leicester 1, Arsenal 1 is the verdict here for me. And now Crystal Palace versus Fulham, sort of like a London derby, the smaller derby. Palace, of course, beat Brighton 2-1. Um, and Matata scored that in seeing back here, of course. I think he'll definitely, sh he should start here. Fulham, on the other hand, they're still struggling, but they are starting to pick up points. They did beat Sheffield 1-0, so that was big. What do I think will happen here? I think Fulham will actually win again. Um, Palace were quite poor against Brighton, and I think Fulham... Well, <clears throat> when one nil here at Salhurst Park, I think in like near in between the uh, three quarters of the way through the um, second half, it'll score maybe Tom Kearney if he's playing, probably Josh Maya. I'm predicting will score. So Palace nil, Fulham one is my verdict. And now Spurs versus Burnley. Of course, Spurs won four nil to win eight one and aggregate to go through to the last sixteen of the Europa League. Last night, Dali Ali scored in the insane back heel, copying Olivier Giroud's back heel. Um, Spurs should be a bit more well rested um, for this game. Of course, they did lose to West Ham. Uh, they should definitely be a bit more well rested because they played in Wednesday instead of Thursday. I think they'll sweep the floor against Burnley here. I think it'll be a 3 0 win for Tottenham. Son and Brickland will get a brace, and maybe Dali Ali, if he's starting or playing at least, will get a goal to maybe <clears throat> tell Jose Mourinho, hey, I'm doing good. Can I play every week? Yeah, so moving on now. 3-0 I said to Tottenham. 
And now possibly the game of the weekend, Chelsea versus Manchester United. Of course, Chelsea managed to beat Atletico Madrid, the leaders of La Liga, 1-0. I believe in Madrid, Giroud, of course, and seeing back heel. Man United play tonight, they're 4-0 up and I get the Sociedad. Um, I expect us to rest a lot of the players because we need to, um, <clears throat> in order to be well rested for the Chelsea game. But uh, what do I think will happen? Uh, Chelsea's doing really good. They drew with Southampton last week ago, but I think they're going to win. <clears throat> um, just one of them games. It's either be 0-0, but I don't think it'll be 0-0. I think Chelsea will win 2-1. I think we'll probably take the lead, but I think we'll blow it then. I th I'm predicting the team will and will actually score. So Chelsea 2, Man United 1 is my verdict, unfortunately. And now Sheffield United versus Liverpool. Um, Liverpool have an arrest week, Sheffield the same, well they have an arrest week every week because they're not in any European tournaments. Um, <clears throat> Sheffield of course, after they started to get a few wins in the trial, a few points, they've started to slump again, of course as I said earlier they lost to Fulham 1-0. I think they'll completely be blown out of the park at Bramall Lane, I'm going to say Liverpool will win 3-0 here. Um, I'm going to break Mane and Salah to score and maybe Jota in his return if he's playing. So. Uh, Liverpool 3, Sheffield 0 at Bramall Lane is my verdict. And finally, Everton versus Southampton. Everton, I'm trying to remember who they played. Southampton, of course, drew with um, Chelsea, which was huge, a massive point there. Um, Everton, of course, they did beat Liverpool in the Merseyside derby. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, they're in really good form. I think they're the best team and they're one of the best teams in England, one of the best team in Liverpool currently. Um, definitely if they can beat Liverpool then they are uh, but what do I think will happen here I think Everton will sweep the floor finally here I think they'll win 4-1 here at Goodison Park Southampton <clears throat> I think Southampton will open the score with Wood Price or Danny Ings but I think uh, Richarlison, Calvert-Lewin and possibly James Rodriguez masterclass here will get Everton a 4-1 win so that's the end of my video my predictions for the Premier League this weekend um, there is midweek ones next week, so I'll probably do another Premier League prediction video on Sunday or Monday. Um, but <clears throat> anyway, like and subscribe and tune in again tomorrow where I'll hopefully have a new video uploaded for you. So anyway, like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.